Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? A little. Why don't you believe in Gehenna? As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Humans and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument, which so frequently falls on deaf ears. That's what I was saying before about superstition and just... It's, yeah, even he is a little bit superstitious every once in a while. It's, it's just not brought forth a whole lot. Are there any other signs of Gehenna? What prophecy doesn't have vague apocryphal signs? Let's see, the usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. <laughs> that, oh, look at that, I could give a damn, so yeah. Yeah, I think that answers the other question that I had before. This is all fascinating stuff. How long have you been studying kindred lore? For 300 years I've been trying to determine the function of our existence, the kindred's role in the world. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. We exist for a reason. And if it takes another 300, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts? You just gave me scholarship, which I am very much appreciative of, because I got some books to read that I can't read because I'm dumb. Um, also, he just said something that's very superstitious as well. We have a reason. We exist for a reason, and he'll, he'll have to figure it out. How do you know there is such a thing as a reason? That's very dogmag dogmatic of you, isn't it? So what are my thoughts? Either uh, any option here is... Uh, is very interesting. Saying we're the next evolution of human beings is hilarious. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that, because uh, that's hilarious. Yes, I've heard that theory before. It certainly seems plausible, but there's little proof to support it. Still, it's a better explanation than a divine sentence for manslaughter. It's just, reveal what it does reveal is that I have no idea what evolution is. Because that's not how evolution works. You're not the next stage of evolution, you dummy. Um, I really don't know. My sentiments exactly, but there's time to rectify that. Well, my work here is stolen away into the night. Think I'll do the same. If you find the sarcophagus, call the prince. Good night. I don't think he's going to call the prince. Gaining that scholarship point is really nice, and you should do it, because... You just get to hear more things about the cool setting and whatnot. And we're back to the sewers. We have a few things to do. Let's first go to the last bullet. Of course we're going to the last bullet first. Hey, Jack. I heard you were down poking around the museum. I was. LaCroix wants that coffin bad. You could say that. He told me not to come back until I had it. Seems like he has a lot riding on that sarcophagus. Get such a fierce bug in that powdered weed of his. Why, though? Why does he want it so bad? I got another scenario for you here, kiddo. Gonna bounce it off you, see what you think. You ever hear of, uh, Diablery? What's that? Well, it's when a vampire drains another more powerful vampire to death. Diablery is the Sabbat specialty. But it's a big taboo in civilized kindred circles, and damn sure forbidden by the Camarilla. Why is it so taboo? When a younger vampire diablerizes an elder, the younger vampire gains all of their powers. I see. Whoa, you don't you don't think the Prince is willing to tear LA apart to find this thing so he can have it. Why? What would a power hungry vampire like LaCroix want with a sleeping ancient? I wonder. What should I do? He wants me to bring it to him. You gotta figure a drop of ancient blood would make any kindred just about invulnerable. Anyone who has a sarcophagus is gonna be thinking the same thing. If LaCroix gets a sarcophagus, at least we know where it is. 
I wanted to ask you some questions. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Uh, well, I guess that's that. What's on your mind? Uh, yeah, that's that. Well, well, well. The plot thickens. That's our coffee because it's a super amount of trouble at this point. Not only does he keep disappearing and murdering people and whatnot, but now we know the intentions of super, super, superstitious Lacroix. Or Lacroix, if that's his, his real name. He's also bald. So there you go. I mean, at least Jack thinks he is, or acted as he was, as if he were. Let's see if um, the regent here says anything. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. What is it you would like to know? What do you know about the Ankaran sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What do you think is inside of it? I do not know. Although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. Like what? I will say no more. Okay, I'm out of here. Well, he had something to say, all right. I I don't think I... I don't think I talked to him about that before. I don't see a reason why I would have. Hmm. Also, another reason why it's easy to miss the dialogues with the lost ra with the last round is that as an Osferatu, we're just traveling around the sewers. But as a um, as another a vampire of another clan, we're always le left off on a taxi over there, and we haven't seen a taxi. We'll not see the taxi until very very late in the game, if at all. I don't know if it happens, but we should we should actually see the taxi in the very late game um, because it's kind of important. And, um, so the, the thing is, for a Nosferatu, it's a lot more intuitive to always go to the Nos last round. Even though it's, you know, it's right here as well. We spawn very close to it. It's just you spawn in the sewers and you're like, let's go there. Because it's right over there. The father of all, of all vampires. These loading screens have a lot of information too. I haven't been reading them. But of course you can read them if you want to. By pausing and all that. Let's go to the penthouse. Things seem normal. Does he know? Hey dude, what's up? It's the city, all right. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, Behind your back, there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. It, 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 the bullseye seems to be pretty irrelevant, though, considering... Nobody seems to mess with him anyway. The bullseye right now is in Nine's back. What's this about? The blood hunt on Nine's Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites... It's my head they will sharpen the pikes for. At least I can rest easy in knowing that you, my most promising attendant, has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? Well, about the sarcophagus, it appears it has been stolen. Stolen? I... Stolen? How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat! Gary? The Nosferatu Primogen. 
The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now, my mistake. I want him found. I want him... found. The sarcophagus could be... exploited. Causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands... The wrong hands. Of course. I'll find Gary and the sarcophagus. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood. But not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but... Nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort him out. Aye. This guy. Oh, you can't go up. You, I didn't mean to, but you can't go up. He still hasn't given me the things. Does he not give me the things? Aww. Maybe he does give me the things. I don't know. Anyway, let's go to... The last round. Not the last round. Well, actually, the round. Yeah, let's go to the last round. Let's see what Jack has to say. What did you just say? Heard anything? Oh, yeah. The prince is really interested in getting the Ankara sarcophagus. It's probably just like the rolls of Coppins or something. Lousy respect, bastard. I'll let you know when I have more news. God, God, <laughs> you guys are what the hell did you want? Uh, nothing. You can, I can tell you anything. Hey, kid, what's going on? Hey, I want to. Uh, well, I guess I guess that's that. Interesting. So she had uh something to tell me now, but not Jack. Let's get some money. Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Two hundred and fifty. Thanks. Keep it coming. And let's go to Pisha, because I have one statue. We're going to get something interesting from her. Pisha is also an interesting name that I always have a lot of fun, because it means Willy in Portuguese. Or it can mean, anyway, Willy in Portuguese. Pisha, I have a statue for you. It's a fetish, I believe. If I said I have a fetish for you, that would be a different thing, though. Hi. Yes. Here's the item from the museum. Yes, this is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the odious chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. The odious chalice. That's actually quite good. Uh, looks like a wet, rotten pig's face. Thanks. Uh, I'll see you later. Thank you very much. This thing... Stores blood and is super good every time you kill people. I think I'm, I'm not sure if you need to hit them in melee. No, we don't need to hit them in melee, you can hit them with weapons at least. But I think you need to, I don't know if you need to hit them or if it is killing them that matters. Uh, but every time you do either one of those things, uh, or one of those things in specific, you actually get blood into that, which is really good because that goes up to 10, which is a huge amount of blood. I think it's like a full those which is really nice really really good so let's go back to Santa Monica and apparently I'm told as an Osferatu we cannot get the thing that I thought the prince was gonna give me so that's a real shame I really thought I really thought we were gonna get an apartment here in uh, in downtown but we're not so there it goes the ghostly people it's just bugs don't worry about it their animation is being weird. Let's see if uh, Mercurio here knows or has any news for me. In fact, he might know something about the sarcophagus. Hey, man, what's up? Picked up a Spaz 15 this morning. Cleaned, oiled, and just waiting to put a hole through something. You interested? 
Uh, let's see. And he does have a... Sp not a Spaz 15. They don't call it that in that in this game. Uh, it looks like an M4 to me. Is that a automatic shotgun? That, I suppose that's what that is. The Jaeger Spaz automatic shotgun looks... And fires more like an assault rifle than a traditional shotgun. It delivers bursts of deadly shot at devastating pace. The Jaeger Spaz has both semi-automatic and pump action functionality. Which doesn't make sense, I think. I'm I'm pretty sure it doesn't make that doesn't make sense. Cause pump action when you pump, that's to do the thing that the semi automatic weapon does. If it's semi automatic you don't pump, it pumps itself. Through, usually it's gas operated, I think. And there's also mass operated, I think, but I'm not actually sure how we all those weapons work. And, and uh, apparently that's an AA-12 fully automatic shotgun in real life. Stolen artifact! And Karen's sarcophagus stolen from museum. And they showed what was not the sarcophagus. And it kind of looks like the sarcophagus. Hey, Heather. Oh, you're back. I um, I went out this evening and I... Well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I... He came back here with me and... Well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. Aha, uh -huh. I, lo I love coming home to find dinner waiting. Thank you, my pet. I'm just glad you're pleased. Um, he's in the bathroom. Don't worry, I locked him in. I don't think you did. I'll, I'll go help myself. Yeah. Also, 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 also. Master? Yes. Um, about your appearance. Change it. Okay. See that you have by the time I get back. I think that's the gothic girl. Very orangey for orange and purple. So, we have dinner, do we? Hey. Oh, man. <coughs> hey, let me out of here. Hey, what are you doing? What the hell is this shit? Come on. It is... Let me out, goddammit. Come damn on, it. this isn't funny. crazy bitch. Hey. Is anybody there? Hello? He's having to... He, he, it's just complicated. Don't worry about it. Um, You'll do no such thing. As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. Yeah, whatever. After I drain you, you won't even know what year it is. What the hell does that mean? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Hey! Come here. I've got a secret to tell you. He did not seem to enjoy that. And there we go. I wonder what happens. No. Hmm. I need to get my intimidation up. I need this a little bit higher than it is right now. Because there's intimidation lines over there, maybe. Hey. Master? I fed on him, but let him live. Get him out as long as the trance is lasting. I promise it'll be done by the time you get back. Good. Goodbye, Ather. Either. Whatever. I asked her. Sure. Okay, let's see if we have emails. We probably do. We do indeed. A gambit. A gambit has been played. The king leaves himself open. <gasps> I have a certain fin This is from Lacroix. I have a certain financial interest in a restaurant in Hollywood called the Cav Cavoletti Cafe. I have made a... Which is, means it's not a restaurant. Anyway. I have made an offer on the establishment that is more than generous, but it seems that the owners are remiss to accept. It is my understanding that a renowned food critic named Tommy Flayton will be writing an article about the restaurant very soon. Please inter excuse me, please intercept him there and make sure the review is unfavorable. I'm I will master master. Okay, well, I guess uh Wait, did you see my email? Vlad at home. That's not my email. That's my Inux thing. There's a, it's a whole thing. Well, we have a new mission. And uh, we, have, we have done that. Let's go to Hollywood then.
We need to talk to their prince. Or, it's, did, did, did Lacroix say he was the prince? And of course we have different sewers. Oh yeah, and of course this area is also the area where you go. Actually go into the sewers. Now we had a door. This one doesn't even make a noise. We had a door in um, in in the sewers of downtown that didn't open. I'm not really sure what that door is all about, but that's fine. We don't we don't need to know. Let's go down out this way. Whatever exit is good for us. Although we are in Osferatu, so if we come out in the middle of the street, well, there's nobody in the middle. We're not in the middle of the street. We're, in fact, behind the burger shot, I think it's, it's called. Ain't seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. And you might be? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. And what if maybe I don't want to see Isaac? Ha! <laughs> you do. You're going to make me? Ha! <laughs> Waste of effort. Now, is he a vampire? Do we know? I don't know. Maybe he's a ghoul. Isaac is the prince, the liege. And yes, this is... I don't remember the name. Space Burger? Oh yeah, we have the advertisement there. For Space Burger. And this is down... This is Hollywood. We got a very specific soundtrack as well for Hollywood, which is pretty cool. This is called The Red Spot. That's right, not Burger Shot. I, I, that, I think that might be from, from GTA. We have the Lucky Star over there. We have a quest for the Lucky Star. Mud Hunt, I believe it is. the Yes, there it is. You did find a key to the Lucky Star Motel. It's right there. Oh, don't look at me. I'm hideous. You guys will freak out. We have a bunch of hotels. Also, we have a symbol for the developer of the game. We have a, a billboard for Troika somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know where it is. I might be mistaken. The asshole over here. Very, very originally named. We got the cemetery back there. Fun, fun times. We're gonna go there. The Vesuvius. Saguaro Falls will make you wet. Yes, yes, they, they tend to do that. Anyway, let's go to Isaac. Isaac is down there. I know where Isaac is. Do you freak out, sir? Yes, you do. I don't know why he's there. There's some goons going around. We have the chili. It's that's a Chinese restaurant or something. I'm not really sure. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Also, there's this place over here. Very cool area. Very cool soundtrack. Really happy to be out here. Play, obey, Troika. <laughs> oh, also we have a map of the city, which I tend not to look at because I don't need to. Uh, but you can, of course, pause and see. This is not the way in. That person is going around. This is also not the way in, if I remember correctly. I don't remember correctly. This is exact. Don't come out here. Oh, that's the... That's the guy that told us. I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> Except my sense of humor is a little askew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. All right. I'll go see him. Interesting. I could have... Could have opened... A little bit of hostility there. End of the alley. Isaac's inside. I never noticed that he came over here, because I just... I suppose I just came over here. Let's, uh... Let's meet this a Isaac. Very fancy place. I like what you did. With the two screens, proper stuff. For 2004, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. You'd, you'd need to have an SLI set up. Or a Crossfire, I suppose. Uh, 2004. I'm not sure if Crossfire was a thing yet. Hmm. Excuse me. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Yeah, well, I'm looking for the Nosferatu. So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind. 
and asking for my help of all peoples. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that bit about the rats, but can you help me find them? Perhaps. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. I don't like where this conversation is headed. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. I see. So what do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? You want me to kill him for not delivering the item? Absolutely not. You pull that cowboy routine anywhere in my city and I'll personally take an interest in seeing you suffer. I had in mind something a bit more subtle. Now pay attention. Here's what I want you to do. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K. and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? I'll do it, but I have some questions first. There'll be plenty of time for questions later. I'll explain everything when you get back. There had better be. Package delivery. Never done that before. Uh, I, uh, a little bit. Anyway, I'm gone. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Thanks. He's friendly enough. It's kind of interesting that in such a short conversation we're already doing errands for him, but, you know, that's the nature of RPGs, really. A favor for a favor, I, sp I suppose. Yeah, that makes sense. He's... He sounds reasonable enough. Let's take the opportunity here, since we are at the Cavoletti Cafe, take the opportunity to... <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. I'm pretty sure this is going to be hilarious. Take the opportunity to do the other quest that we were came here to do, which was a dish best served cold. Lacra wants to buy this, and they don't want to sell. So what I'm going to do is I'm make it, and I'm going to make sure that their reputation is ruined. Now, how exactly is that going to work, considering that I'm an Osferatu? I'm not sure. This man doesn't seem overly terrified of me. Which normally is a good hint that he's the one that I need to talk to. He's also looking at a lot of dishes in front of him. And there was a, journal a journalist here. A food critic. Tommy Flayton. That was supposed to come here to do some reviews. Oh my! Well, I've almost completely lost my appetite. I wasn't aware this restaurant had a burn ward. A burn ward? Uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to complete the quest here, but, because I might need to use some of my skill points, but, uh, can you look at my back and tell me if my boil is still oozing? Oh, oh. I'll, I'll never eat in this part of town again. <laughs> okay. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, well, that quest is a lot simpler as a Nosferatu, that's for sure. You were successful in your attempt to get Tommy Flayton to give the Cafe Caval, uh, cafe Cavaletti a bad review. Yep. Let's see who else we got. Caller, what do you do for a living? I'm Roger. Okay, and what do you do, Roger? Um, I'm a writer, Deb. So, have you written any uh, movies I might have seen? Well, I actually haven't finished any screenplays yet. I see. So, have you done any other kinds of writing? Well, just some outlines right now, but I've got some really good ideas for some stories that are crawling around in the old noggin. Um, so, if you haven't really written anything, how can you call yourself a writer? Because I once fixed my toilet doesn't make me a plumber, right? What do you see? Is there anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves a writer or actor or a director? Don't you think you're doing a disservice to those who actually make their living in those art forms by deeming yourself something you're not or not even trained to do? Um... Oh, I think I'm pretty good at knowing what's good writing from bad writing. Well, wouldn't that make you a critic? Let's see if anyone else agrees. Line two. Are you ready for a menage a trois? Sure thing, Deb. And would you please state what you do for a living? 
I'm a personal assistant for a producer at Parasite Studios. Perfect. Do you read a lot of screenplays? Don't get me started. Well, for our writer on the phone, here's your big chance to pitch your screenplay. Is that okay, Line 2? Sell me, dude. Well, um, okay. So, uh, my story's about this guy. You don't say. Okay, uh, okay, so this guy, he's, well, he's like a, an FBI agent, but, you know, he doesn't really work for the main FBI. And, uh, he's got this partner who's new and really cute, but she's also a really good agent. And they're like a sign in this bizarre case where people are being killed in really strange ways. Uh-huh. And then, like, something happens and the girl agent gets kidnapped by the killer. Something happens. Yeah, well, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but, like, the guy agent notices, like, how the killer seems to know everything he's doing, like, one step ahead of him. And then there's this kind of, you know, weird chase scene. And then, like, we find out that the guy's got two personalities. And, like, he finds out in the end that he's the killer. And then uh, he's kidnapped his own partner. Well, Line 2, what do you think? You're going to option it or not? Uh, writer dude? Roger. Uh, Roger, would you like my professional opinion? Yeah. Where are you from? Um, Wisconsin. Okay. I want you to get all your stuff together, and then I want you to move back to Wisconsin. That's a little cold, Line 2. That's Hollywood, baby. Maybe it's just too good for you. Uh, no, dude, it's not. Break it up, you two. Final thoughts, guys? Wisconsin. I have some other things I'm working on, too. I got some pretty good ideas for video games, I think. If anyone's interested in hiring me, my number is 213... Sorry, Roger. The only one that gets to give out their number on this show is me. And if anyone was thinking of asking what I'm wearing, that number again is 323-KL5-KTRK. We're going to take a short commercial break, but that doesn't mean you can stop thinking about me. Don't go anywhere, boys.